I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll do trigonometric identities which involve powers of tan and secant. The question here is to prove secant to the power of 4x minus tan to the power of 4x equals to 1 plus 2 tan square x. Now to prove this identity we can use the Pythagorean trigonometric identity which is 1 plus tan square x equals to secant square x, right? Mm -hmm. You could actually rearrange this in the form which is similar to the left side as secant square x minus tan square x. So bringing tan to the right side leaves 1 here, so that should be equal to 1, right? So that could be utilized. Another formula which we are going to use here is a square minus b square could be factored as a plus b times a minus b, correct? So using these formulas, we can actually solve this trigonometric identity. So what you can do is that you can actually pause the video, apply this knowledge, and then solve the identity. Let's begin from the left side. Seems to be more complicated, can be simplified as the right side. So that's the whole idea. So we'll begin by using the left side, which is secant to the power of 4x minus 10x to the power of 4, actually, but written like this, right? Now, as you can see, we could write this as difference of squares, for example. We could write this as secant square x whole square minus 10 square x whole square, right? Now, we can apply this formula, which is a square minus b square to factor as some as product of sum and difference. So sum will be secant square x plus tan x, tan square x, right? Times the difference, which is secant square x minus tan square x. Correct? So, uh, so we applied this difference formula first and now you can see that secant square x minus tan square x is actually equal to 1, right? So substituting that, what we get on the left side is secant square x plus tan square x. Now what do you need? You need to show that this is equals to 1 plus 2 tan square x. That means we can substitute secant square x as 1 plus tan square x, correct? So now I'll substitute secant square x plus tan square x as this, right? So we'll do that substitution here. That will give us, instead of secant square x, I'm writing 1 plus tan square x. So I'm writing 1 plus tan square x for secant square x plus tan square x, correct? Now you can add tan square x we get 1 plus 2 tan square x, which is same as the right side. So, so that means left side is equals to right side, and that is how we can prove the given identity, right? So let's look into this once again. We had difference of powers of 4, so we try to utilize difference of squares formula to factor this. Once we factor, we applied the trigonometric uh, identities which are Pythagorean identity 1 plus tan square x equals to secant square x Now from here when you rearrange you get secant square x minus tan square x as 1 So I substitute that one here for secant square x minus tan square x. So that was So the expression was simplified to secant square x plus tan square x then we use the identity itself replacing secant square x by 1 plus tan square x and then we got the right side I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So we'll have a few more examples which will uh, have powers of these trigonometric functions and we'll see how to use these techniques to solve them. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Feel free to post your questions, share and subscribe. Thank you and all the best.